Hello everyone, it's Agnes coming to you with the uh, idea that I think I did not share with you. And this is actually my super fun trick that I always do, it, especially in the summertime. So look what I have. I do have a tissue paper and I do have a, my big, it's actually, I would say a good 12 inch, no, I would say 16 inch uh, plastic container after my delicious pretzels. So all what I have right now is the Mod Podge that I'm going to spread around it. And I'm going to try to decoupage some tissue right on it. I mean, this is a literally a very quick way to um, bring some nice detail to your outdoor adventures. And of course, um, later bring it home. I mean, if you run out of your vases and I do have usually that issue. So um, look what happens. I am just simply, you know, okay with the wrinkles all around and the more the better. And I'm going to actually um, show you one of the ways I do it. But um, as you can see is I'm just simply trying to empty my uh, container and I'm just smearing the Mod Podge. And I do want to smear it, um, you know, um, actually a lot of it. And look, just crumbling it all around. Dilly, you do want it to um, even, you know, cut the pieces like right now here, I have an issue um, and make sure that majority of the plastic or, or any surface that you have, it is covered. Um, and then, of course, right after that, I like to put another coat of the Mod Patch. And, you know, when the Mod Patch is drying, it becomes super crusty. So that's why, at least in this application, and I'm going to show you different ones, maybe not in this video. Um, uh, what else can you do with the uh, the tissue and the container uh, and uh, of course the mud patch so um, as you can see is I'm just trying to smooth it out and I do want those um, you know imperfections and the little creases to go in a fun way so in some cases I don't make it smooth and I just simply layer my tissue on the top of the tissue just so it brings a little bit more of a details and have that sort of a uh, um, old look um, Okay, so now all is um, um, done, dried, and then make sure that everything is perfectly dry. You do not want to add the second coat. So here I have a chalk paint, and I'm just simply not really smearing um, to cover it completely because I do not want it to have a buildup um, of a paint itself. So I sort of dab and then um, dry brush. So not, but really not dry brush. I mean, I dab a paint on it, and then I just try to distribute sort of in the um, majority of the time with this stippling motion um, uh, my goal here is um, to get in every single little crease or little you know wrinkle that I've created in a previous step to make sure that when I'm going to start to do um, work on the second um, step everything is going to be nicely covered and of course the, at this point you don't really have to cover the whole thing as i always say is in in this technique the more layers the better and i've used the chalk paint because it does um go with uh you know better on the tissue and a mat patch but you can color your um chalk paint uh, the way you want so um to bring a different color but now look what happens i'm bringing now my dark and white wax and I'm just all what I'm going to do is trying to experiment because to tell you the truth, every single time I do this, um, the vases are coming differently. So I'm being careful right now, trying to see how my um, dark wax is going to work uh, on it. And as you can see is um, it actually beautifully accents um, the whole wrinkles even better so now the white wax that i'm going to go over with it it's nicely smearing it and making it look a little bit gentler and a little bit more uh, better uh, pronounced and i'm actually enjoying it so much so now i'm going to be adding a little bit more and i do want it to sort of build it up but this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to let the wax um, dry a little bit in there because i do want some of those darker spots to literally stay on my creases so that's my plan. I absolutely love to play with the clear wax 
um, um, afterwards when application is dry just to see how everything goes and it seems like in this cases it is a little bit darker and I actually do like it and you do want it to make sure that your um, brush is cleared from the wax that you just you know sort of scooped it out as you were distributing all nicely around I absolutely love it, but I think that I'm going to bring a little bit of uh, my back, my chalk paint, and just simply wipe it off my um, um, chip, uh, chip paint, I mean chip brush, and then just simply distribute in some areas. So it does have that sort of a old uh, bleached out or, you know, by sun sort of a look. So that's what I'm going to do. And of course, I had to wait a little bit here and there and then just add the clear wax. I don't think I'm going to work with a dark one anymore because, you know, there are other things I need to do to it. I do also wanted to tell you is that if this is not the color you are liking and it will fit your area, what you could do is when you paint with the chalk paint, instead of using the dark wax, you can actually dry brush all those imperfections, the wrinkles that Tisho created with uh, a different color and then go with wax or matte patch just to protect it. But now look what happens. I found the little um, wooden uh, circles and I'm thinking, hey, I may actually even go further with this. And then as I was trying to, um, you know, think what else I can decorate my uh, little container with, uh, see, I can decide if I go like ears like this or I go sideways or I go flat or I just go on this plug. It's just so difficult. And then I found the flower. See, now I'm trying to see which flower will work. Um, this is the molds that I, I mean, this is the flowers that I made in my molds out of the hot glue. Um, and I did not use all of them. So, you know what? I think it's perfect, uh, perfect little place to simply do it. And if my hot glue, of course, works. So I'm just going to hot glue the darker one since I guess I already had the uh, wax on it. And it seems like it's nicely, um, you know, fitting there and not sticking out that much. Just brings even more interest. It does have a gold, so guess what? I do have a gold, so I think I gotta continue with the gold in a bit. Okay, so now let's put those ears sideways on my container, and um, we're just going to see up. So I guess that's how I'm going to do it, and I really hope that it's going to stay. I mean, for now, I have no plan. I'm just going to observe and see. Obviously, I cannot lift this container using those little handles. This is just for decorating purposes, but I think I'm going to bring some kind of a piece of uh, leather and um, attach to it. But of course, since I already saw the gold a little bit on my flower, I decided to just highlight that little plaque area and some other little places with the gold just so it's it, it keeps united <laughs> and of course you know no matter what i would do even if the flower would have been not there i would have bring the gold to it but it's again it's it's the motion with the uh, clear wax and um and the uh, the gilding uh, gold wax um just so it you know it just nicely mutes so of course I had to bring my gold leaf. I mean, literally every single project has to end up with gold leaf or some kind of a gold accent. But I do wanted to make sure that um, that gold is slightly visible, knowing that everything seems to be sort of like on this um, earthy tones. I think it's time to organize my gold leaf someplace. So I'm not going to be sticking it to every single project I make. I'm not going to touch the little ears on the side because obviously I do not know if they're going to stay there or I'm going to reinforce them somehow. I think that's how I'm going to leave. So it's again, um, let's look up a little bit closer on the uh, the pictures that uh, on the pictures of this um, whole vase. So here is the flower that obviously is waxed a little bit with the gold leaf, and I do want it to have this sort of um, old way um, look. And I love it how it looks from far, how much detail is into it. And it's really not very overpowering. And little leaves from my yard actually looks pretty cool in there. So I do have an instant decoration right in um, outside. So I really hope that I inspired you to look at your containers differently and bring some tissue paper, put them into Mod Podge and have fun with it. 
and I really wanted to hear what you think about this project. And if you think that somebody may like to uh, make one of those or love to make recycle project, please don't forget to sprinkle. And I'm telling you, this really looks awesome in any summer tablescapes. And of course, later on, until this container doesn't break, I use it inside. Thanks for watching. Bye.